Alright, so it's another day, and Emily's not here. I am bored, I'm upstairs, not playing video games because I'm waiting for a package to come in. And I guess when Emily's not home, and I'm bored, I'm gonna start hiding stuff around the house. Let's see, where can we hide this guy? Let's see, the good Raichu can go in here with all the macaroni and whatnot. Let's put, hmm, where should you go? Let's put you, would it be morbid to put him in the, yeah, we're not gonna put him in the microwave. Let's put him over here. Yeah, and the spices. See how long Emily takes to find that one. And you know what? We've been moving this guy around quite a bit. Let's put him... Yeah, let's put him on the plates. There we go. Yeah. Let's see how long Emily takes to find those things. Oh! Hey, my package is here! Do 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 do. Looking at the floor to hide the dirty house. Do 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 do. And whoa, package is here, but there's no FedEx guy, and our address is covered up. Oh, it's almost like this whole day was staged. Eh, whatever. Ooh, we have food. Okay, so my job today, since Emily wasn't home, is to make sure he looks good, which he does. He made it perfectly through shipment, so we'll wrap him back up so Emily can do her magic on camera later. And then I'm going to set up the enclosure for him. So let's get that right now. There it is. This is actually one of my old green tree enclosures. I'm just moving to tubs as it's easier to keep humidity levels and a lot of other things with tubs versus this kind of tank. Plus it saves on space. And green trees, if you put the top bar up here, they'll only hang out on the top bar. If you put a tub that's wider, they'll get to move around a little bit more. So that's the main reason why I did that. This was set up for a bioactive tank, but we're gonna reuse that, cleaned everything out the best I can. Now let's fill it back up. So I figured this video needed to have a model in it, so we got Cheyenne and she's showing us her good side. I also figured I needed somebody here monitoring me, making sure I do everything properly, so that's what you get to do, little girl. Yeah! Anyway, so we're gonna make dirt! Hooray! Dirt! By the way, I'm not gonna show you guys what's in the box yet because I feel like it'd be fun for you guys to have to wait through the entire video to see what it is, along with Emily. I mean, nothing's stopping you from clicking forward and seeing what's there except for You'll hurt my heart and skip over my amazing content here. But, you know, it's up to you. If you want to hurt me, go right ahead. But we're going to mix up dirt now. 50-50 cocoa blocks to tree fern. You guys have all seen this a million times by now. Then we throw some sand and some moss. And I forgot to make this up earlier and really don't know where it is. So I shall be back. I swear, Emily is either the best hider or I am the worst seeker. Right, Cheyenne? Let's give her a call. Hey, everything all right? Yep. Hey, where'd you hide the carbon? The carbon <laughs> pellets? Yeah, the carbon pellets. They're up in the bioactive bin. They're in the bin? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yep, bye. <laughs> bye. All right, so I guess I'm the world's worst seeker. I'll be right back. Cheyenne, look. I found them! I found them! They were right where mom said they were. They were in with all the other bioactive stuff. Do you wanna, do you wanna, no? Okay, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, chalk one up for Ed not knowing how to look for things. And then snake shed. Wanna help? Yeah, good job, Cheyenne. I guess I probably should have done that on camera, shouldn't I? Do you wanna help this time? Here, we'll put you back on camera. Hey, do you wanna help? Get it! Yay! Err! Yeah, good job, Cheyenne. Good girl. And she did her manager job. So now, there's a trick to this next part. When you're putting it in, don't dump it all over the floor. I know that sounds pretty obvious, but... Oh, jeez. Good job. All right. It can be a lot trickier than I'm letting on here, as you could probably have seen in that Team War video. Hooray! It looks like dirt in a tank. Pretty! Right, Cheyenne? The next part of this build 
as Cheyenne is letting me know, is to decorate. I don't like decorating tanks. I can never make them look good. So I guess at this point, I am just gonna let the camera go and wait for Emily to get home and she can decorate it. Hooray, I can put it off on her. So we will wait for Emily to get home. Ready? Goodbye, Cheyenne. Bye. No, she doesn't care. All right, so Emily's back. Yay! Back. And now you guys get to finally see what's in here. I can't wait to meet him. So Emily does know what he is. Yep. She just has not seen him yet. No, and the reason why I know what is in here is because a fan, Nicholas, reached out to us. Nick for short, maybe? Nick, Nicholas? Nick reached out to us. He wasn't able to keep this reptile anymore, so we ended up buying it from him because it's going to fit perfectly with some breeding plans of ours in the future. And you haven't told him? I have not told them what it is. I, t I actually guilted them. I'm like, you could skip forward, but you'd hurt my heart. Oh. <laughs> So we'll see how many people actually <laughs> waited till this moment to figure out what this animal is. Let's just hope everyone watching right now has seen your awesome setup. So you set this up, right? Yeah, I set On that. camera? Yep. Okay. Cheyenne helped me. Oh, did she? Yep. Nice. I'm sure she was a big help. She supervised. Let's see what he looks like. I'm expecting him to be like that big, FYI. Okay. And Ed repackaged this thing up because as you guys saw in the previous clips, he was not out, but <laughs> it was open. What's he gonna look like? He came in Tupperware. Yeah, he did. It is a Lichianus gecko. Holy cow, buddy, you're huge. You're a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. Aw, how friendly are you, dude? Come here. Oh, you're actually, wow, you're pretty handleable. Aw, oh, you look amazing. Are you gonna jump? Don't jump, don't jump. So this is a Grand Tear Lichianus gecko, which is like the biggest of the Lichianus geckos. So he is only a sub-adult. He will get much larger. He should be around the length of my forearm here. So like in comparison, actually he's about that right now. Maybe without his tail, he should be about that big. So he is going to grow quite a bit more and man, he's so dark in color. Yeah, he is. I think he's sleepy. Oh, is he not fired up? No, I don't think he's fired up right now. He was a little oh. lighter when I did it earlier. Oh, he's sweet. Oh, are you upset? I'm sorry you were in a container, but you're here now. Nick, he made it safe and sound. He looks awesome. So our, our plan, and I can't show you our female on camera here because we do want to quarantine him for a little bit. Um, our plan though is to maybe breed him with our female who's been laying eggs every year, but they're infertile since we don't have a male. And we have been looking for a male for her for about two, three years now actually. Yeah, but now we're like, since you really only can breed one male to one female, otherwise if a female smells another female on the male, she'll kill him. So <laughs> you can't use a male for multiple females females. Now we're thinking, well, maybe, maybe we'll just breed Grand Tears. And maybe we'll get another, a female Grand Tear and then get another kind of like mutt breed for the other one. Have yeah. More expensive and cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Our female's a mix anyway. So we could breed another mix to her and just breed pure Grand Tears with him. Oh, buddy, you look amazing. Yeah. Aww. Oh, his name is Loki. Oh, okay. We he did so two Loki. Yeah, Nick said since we already have a Loki, he wouldn't mind if we changed his name. But I'm thinking if we change it, we should change it to something that still incorporates the name Loki or is close to Loki. So we Loki. might Loki. I mean, that could work. We might need your viewers' help because you are more creative than I am. If you have any name suggestions that are close to Loki, please let me know in the comments because I would like to incorporate that into his name somehow, but I don't want to just name him Loki because we might get confused to which animal we're referring to. I can't wait to see how big he's going to get. Yeah. Because he is only sub-adult, mm -hmm. which is insane. He's going to get just massive. And with how friendly he is, we might be able to use him in programs too, not yeah. just breeding. Aw, he can pick his nose with his tongue. Yes, he can. Very well. I mean, I guess if I could pick my nose with my tongue. I wouldn't. You would it? <laughs> nope. Yeah. That's what fingers are for. Oh my gosh. I am curious how obvious, I mean, we were told he is a male, which is the main reason why we wanted to get him, but I'm curious how obvious it is that he is male. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, dude. You're packing. Yes, you are. Oh, look at that face. He's like, look at it. Yeah. Look at them. They're beautiful. <laughs> Should we get them set up? Sure. Set them up in the cage? Sure. I left the decorating for you because I know you like decorating. Ooh, I do like decorating. Okay. So I step away for two seconds and Emily found something. Why is there a toad in here? Oh, actually it wasn't in there. It was in there. Yeah, she moved it. That. See, it's just something we do. Surprised she hasn't found any of the other things yet. What else did you hide? Nothing. 
I'm gonna hide the toad for you to, to freak you out later. Okay. What else do you want to do in here? Because I did that, and I know that's not good enough. That, that, that looks great! What are you talking about? I mean, I do want to add a round of cork bark, but we don't have one right now. So, while we wait to get one, I think I'll still add a snake plant. That'd be cool in there. Yeah, soil for a snake plant. Can we add more dirt? We could always mix up more dirt. Yeah, let's add more dirt. Hey, guess we're adding more dirt. Well, I knew someone was going to steer me in the wrong direction, so I'm blaming Cheyenne. She didn't tell me I needed to make more dirt. Sure, blame the bird. Yeah, blame the bird because as soon as Emily got home, it's like, oh, we need more dirt in there. I mean, we did, though. So it's Cheyenne's fault. She was my supervisor. Oh, poor Cheyenne. I mean, it has all of our female leeches' favorite things. It has a horizontal piece to sit on. Yeah. It is missing the cork tube, which I'm gonna go pick one of those up next time I'm in town and replace this with it. The only other thing it's missing is a uh, food dish. Oh yeah, we could like suspend a food dish up here. Yep. Perfect, that'll work. This isn't gonna be a forever setup for him since he's a grand tear. He's gonna get, like I said, huge. So he's going to need a bigger enclosure than this. We're just kind of putting him in this until we are able to move him to the facility. And then since he'll be so impressive, we might just put him on display. You can do it. I haven't seen him jump yet. You can do it. You can do it. Jump. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That was the lamest jump ever. Aww. Go check out your new digs. <laughs> lick. I lick in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. He seems to be in like great condition. He did show up a couple hours later than he should have, but... That's FedEx these days. That is pretty much FedEx. And the delivery driver was fantastic. Mm -hmm. He was super nice. So a lot better than another experience we've had in the past. So Yeah, we got our original FedEx guy back. Yes, we did, thankfully. <laughs> so he didn't spin the box or anything. He treated the gecko with respect. He actually even asked us about the business. He's like, so what do you guys do? Why do you keep getting these animals? And we're like, no reason. <laughs> yeah. When people ask, oh, how many snakes do you have? We're like, like six. We don't want to freak them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything went well with his delivery. We got our old delivery guy back, so we didn't have that dude who was, like, spinning the box of another of a snake we received not too long ago. So it was, even though he showed up a couple hours later than he should have, he looks like he's in perfect health. So thank you again, Nicholas, for thinking of us with your mail that you had to rehome. This is our female. We closed this up. I washed my hands. This is our female PJ, and we're going to have to decide whether we breed her to him or her to another mixed locale Lichianus gecko. Again, we can only choose one male to breed with her, or per female, so we're gonna have to think about that one. PJ, look! That could be your boyfriend! What do you think? Yeah, you're gonna have to beat him up, I'm sure. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna go kick him. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go kick his butt. There we go. <laughs> Breeding leeches is kind of, you can't go in there, leechy. I'm sorry. Uh, it's kind of risky business because the female will actually beat up on the male and if he can't take the abuse, she'll kill him. And if he can withstand a bit of uh, roughhousing from the female, then she'll let him breed. But it, it can be risky breeding these guys. You might end up losing a male thanks to your female. Yeah, that's why you have to watch. You can't just throw them in and expect them to pair. Yeah, and again, if she were to smell another female lychee's scent on the male, she would just probably kill him regardless. So that's why we have to really think about what female we want to breed him with. Thank you, as always, to our amazing Patreon backers for your generous support on this channel. Oh my gosh, PJ, where are you going? And thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll keep you posted on how the new male grand hair does, as well as what we decide to name him or rename him. Currently, Loki, but if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. You guys, like I said, are much more creative than I am. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.